Is it making me cry? It's so cute. It's making him cry. Oh my God. Your skincare routine should not make you cry. Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Oh, almost lost my balance. <laughs> And also be sure to subscribe to my second YouTube channel, Selfless. I just announced it and it helps empower you to make a positive difference in the world. I'm so excited about it. I'll link it in the description box below. This is the most excited I've been to film a video this week. I am so ready. Hit me. I am going to be reacting to the Try Guys trying Korean skincare products. Now, you are a liar if the Try Guys have not impacted your life in some way. You cannot look me in the face and say that the Try Guys trying drag makeup for the first time did not impact our society in some major way. If you disagree with me, get out. I have no use for culturally inept on this channel. Is inept even a word? Inept. Inept. Ah, it is, I knew it. This week the Try Guys uploaded a video where they tried a 14 step Korean skincare system and I have wanted to watch this so badly. I've seen all of you guys commenting, all of you guys tagging me on Twitter and Instagram, which by the way, go follow me if you haven't already. It's a fun time. I'm selling myself a little bit much. It's an okay time. <laughs> as soon as I saw you guys tagging me in this, God looked down on me and was like, Hiram, your time has come. This is all your channel is good for, don't f it up. If you don't know me, I am a skincare specialist. That is the official title of my position at this skincare company that I work for. I am not, however, a licensed esthetician or a dermatologist, nor do I ever, ever, ever claim to be or know more than either of them. If you do have any concerns with your skin, oh, that's mouthful. Please go see your dermatologist or esthetician to get that shit treated. This is all just for fun and information's sake. Anyang, and welcome back to Beauty Month here at the Try Guys. Today, we're getting Korean. Mm. <laughs> Take it back, try it again. Today we're gonna be beautiful like Koreans. There we go. The Korean beauty industry is huge. It's one of the top industries for skincare in the world. People seek these products out. And today we are getting the ultimate beauty routine with a 14 step process. That's too many steps. Yeah. I didn't really Agreed 100%. If you guys haven't seen my video why I think the Korean 10 step skincare routine is dumb, I'll link it in the description box below, but to give you guys a sneak peek, I just think it's excessive. The best skincare routines are the most simple ones in my opinion, and you really don't need that many steps. And normally I would discourage it, but the Try Guys are so entertaining that I'm giving them the exception in this case. But to give you guys a little precursor, I absolutely love Korean skincare. It's something that I never thought I would be so invested in until I started actually buying products in Korea and shipping them here. And when I tell you that their formulas are just, Oh, superior. Incredible, the best ingredients and many of the skincare products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis are Korean skincare. So I'm interested to see what they go in with because they have the opportunity to have an amazing selection. Let's, uh, let's hope they do. My face until this year, I have been blessed with perfect skin my entire life, no maintenance needed. Probably because your skin might be naturally drier so you didn't have acne. Yes. But you'll get wrinkles fast. Oh, I will. Ooh, I like his knowledge about skincare. You can tell that he knows some stuff, but yeah, that is true. People with dry skin, I'm so jealous of how their skin looks when they're young because it's literally just poreless and flawless, but that bitch will age like a motherfucker. So get ready. That being said, I am someone who has oily skin and still ages like it's trying to get its social security checks, so. I'm fucked. Like Bernie Sanders. Today, we are gonna get beautiful like the Koreans. I try to take good care of my skin now. I'm often breaking out here and here. I've been they look so cute. Oh my God, with their robes and their little hair bands. I'm trying to change out my pillowcases more because I do sleep on my left side and I'm thinking maybe that's why. I am definitely breaking out. You can see it right here. I got a little red guy. It's been there since Monday and today's Friday. Oh. Which is why this video is sponsored by us getting drunk on camera. Jinro Soju, number one choice for Korean brand. Let me tell you guys, I love soju. Oh my God, tequila and soju, fuck me up. Just with those two alcohols, I will be happy for the rest of my life. Let's get beautiful. Step one, butt plug. <laughs> this is a peach punch sherbet <laughs> cleansing Wait, bomb. You say, you say sherbet? Sherbet, Sherbert. like Sharpay. Sherbet. It is a boob and a butt, depending on how you look at it. So the proper way to do this, always to scoop out, is to take one of your fingernails, and you go backwards. So you can get a nice measured amount, mm. like that. Mm, 
Feels great. Oh wow. I kind of hate how this feels. It's, it's so thin. Slime. It feels like <laughs> oil. Slippery. I've never rinsed my face sitting down. It's <laughs> very challenging. Yeah, my I feel like a T-Rex. My hands just don't work as well. So they're going in with a cleansing balm. Now, if you aren't familiar with the Korean skincare system, the thing is to always double cleanse. What you do is first go in with a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, which will break up the makeup, dirt, and sebum on the surface of the skin, and then go in with a face wash, a face cleanser afterwards to get all of that off your face and out of your skin. Double cleansing is incredible for removing makeup. I personally believe that if you wear any type of makeup, you absolutely have to double cleanse every single day. But that's a popular one from Tony Molly. I feel soft. Yeah, I do feel cleansed. I feel soft like a peach. You touch my face. <laughs> oh yeah, it's oh, 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 yeah, oh. fun choice. Soft, soft rub. Soft rub. <laughs> Up next, black paint rhubarb. Deep pore cleansing benefits that allow for targeted application of concentrated pore treatment. To help draw dirt, oil, huh. and impurity. Whoa, it's like a glue stick. It doesn't go on very smooth. It's very tough. Let me give myself the Tony Stark goatee. This looks like I made out with chimney sweep. Chim, chimney, chim, chimney, chim, 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 I am familiar with cleansing sticks. They are somewhat popular in the Western skincare market as well. I'm personally not a fan of them because not only can they be pretty abrasive and harsh when rubbing it onto the face, especially if they have any exfoliating polish in it, it can be extremely rough. But in addition to that, it's like a breeding ground for bacteria. I like to have cleansers in a pump or in a squeeze bottle because you're not exposing the majority or the next use of the product to your bacteria, which in skincare products can fester, sit there, compromise the state of the product. And with cleansing sticks, I get a little bit nervous just because I don't think they're sanitary, but I am grateful to see that they are going in with a second cleanse because whenever you use a cleansing balm or cleansing oil, you absolutely have to follow up with a regular face cleanser afterwards to make sure you get all of that gunk out of your pores so that you don't have to worry about any of your pores being blocked and leading to acne and breakouts and all that type of shit you want to avoid. I would say instead of a cleansing stick going in with just a standard gel cleanser, my favorite one, I have it right here because I talk about it all the time. The You To The People Kale and Green Tea Cleanser, just amazing for really deep cleansing the skin while not overly stripping it. Or if you want a Korean brand, there's the iUnique Centella Cleansing Foam. That one is awesome because you're getting the soothing ability. It's in a foam pump, so you're getting that nice sensation, but it doesn't overly strip your skin at all. Definitely a better alternative to this product. Up next, we've got the Lettuce and Cucumber Watery Toner. Oh, it smells nice. Very fresh, very clean. Call up Gwyneth, because this is goopy. In fact, you know what toner does, right? That's one of the steps a lot of people use in there. I don't. Process. I have one and I skip it. It really just readies your skin for the next step, typically, but this is nice. <sighs> just remember, skin is the largest organ on your body. I love how knowledgeable Eugene is about skincare. Yes, the skin is the largest organ on the body, which is something that a lot of people tend to forget. And when we think of overall health, we kind of overlook the skin when hello, bitch, it's really important. But as far as what they were saying about the toner, toner is, it's an unnecessary part of the skincare routine, in my opinion, unless it has active ingredients like exfoliants or treatments. If it's just focused on hydrating the skin, there really is no evidence to back up the statement that it preps and readies your skin for the application of other products. In reality, in my personal opinion, toners are just kind of an extra step that companies sell you to buy more products, when in reality, you can get enough hydration just from a moisturizer or from a serum. That being said, I am familiar with that product and I don't like that it's formulated with fragrance. If you aren't familiar with me in my channel, I fucking hate fragrance. I just think it's completely unnecessary and only adds risk for potential irritation and sensitivity, when in reality, it's not necessary in a product whatsoever and only added to kind of add this aromatic component and excluding a whole customer base of people that are sensitive to fragrance. But I actually do like some of the products from Skin Food. I have their Honey and Propolis Serum, which I think is great. One of the best products from their line. So I am a fan of some of the products from the brand. I mean, I'm just gonna say, this has the consistency of a watery lube. You don't want that inside you. No. Two in Invest one. Invest in good lube. Or coconut oil. Coconut oil. <laughs> yeah, good coconut for cooking. Oil. Good for f it. <laughs> I have never once thought of using coconut oil for that purpose, but let me just say, if you are gonna use it for that purpose, don't let that coconut oil get anywhere near your face, girl. You know how much it blocks pores? Keep that shit off your face. I gotta say, I do like the smell. I like that it reminds me of salad. I do think that they should have a ranch option. Mm, that's true. <laughs> There's a Milky Piggy carbonated bubble clay mask. It goes this, on so smooth. It feels good. Oh yeah. Oh my God, this is what I always wanted to do with slime as a kid. And it kind of makes it look like we're painting ourselves into robots. You be Julia and I'll be Julia. So you're gonna be Amy Adams? Oh my God, I would love that. Wow, this dries and someone give Amy Adams a goddamn Oscar. 
I'm Tucci. I would be, I'm honored. I remember when this mask was just sweeping YouTube. Everyone was trying it. This one's really fun because it has an oxygenated effect. Essentially like bubbles will form on the surface and it feels like this like tickly fun sensation. And when you remove the mask, it feels really soft on your skin. Honestly, I think there's no harm in this product. It's fun to use every once in a while. Definitely not necessary for every day. So this 14 step skincare routine is not meant to be done every single day. I feel like I should have established that from the beginning. PSA. Do not do this many steps every day. Oh, that rhymed. Hashtag pull it. Hashtag Shakespeare back the fuck up. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't. This is actually quite nice. I've tried bubbling foam masks before and sometimes they're a little too intense. Oh, it tickles and itches. <laughs> it feels like a bunch of bugs on my skin. I want to scratch my face furiously. This oh, is driving me crazy. <laughs> oh no, oh, do the tickles have begun. Do you feel it? The tickles have begun. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I can't with them, they're so fucking extra. I relate on a cellular level. <laughs> the one downside I will say I've had to those type of masks is that they make my skin tickle so fucking much. Can't handle those face masks on my skin for too long because they definitely make me freak out, but they're still fun. Was I careful around my eyes? <sighs> <laughs> be careful when it comes to face masks or any type of treatments around your eyes. Your eyes are the most sensitive part of your face. So you want to be really careful about that. Collagen luxury gold peel off pack. Oh, oh, oh. it's gorgeous. That's why everyone here wants this. I like gold. This really does satisfy every sort of itch oh, in your wow. body. Oh wow, that's actually expensive. really pretty. While our that's gold mask dry, we're so the only thing that concerns me is that they are going in with two different face masks, which when it comes to masks, unless you're multi-masking, which is where you only put one mask in a certain area of your face and a different mask in the other area of your face and they don't interfere, I think that's okay. But going in with one mask after another is just excessive and can result in possible sensitivity and irritation. When it comes to the gold, peel off mask. First off, gold really has no proven benefits to skincare and can be a skin sensitizer. Second of all, peel off face masks are rarely, rarely, if ever, effective because they're mostly just for fun. You know, just for the aesthetic. Because it is fun to peel it off, but being that gold is a sensitizing ingredient and it's probably formulated with a lot of fragrance as well, I'm just iffy about that. We're gonna go over to I'm Lovely Peach hand mask. Oh, <laughs> it's so gross. Uh. Oh, it's so wet inside. It's like a cold version of reaching your hand into an animal giving birth. <laughs> Probably what my first date that was really bad wanted. So normally you put on the gloves so you don't feel the fluid. So this is fun because it, it, it's filled oh, with yeah. fluid. Hand masks, you know, they're, <laughs> they're all right. They're definitely not necessary. The only thing I don't like about them is that they're a lot of waste. They're basically like two different plastic bags for the environment. So if anything, just use a normal hydrating face mask that comes in a tub, put it on your hands, wait there for like 20 minutes and then just wash it off afterwards. That way you're not like making the plastic waste from it. But you know, it's fun to do every once in a while. One tip though, hands age very quickly because they're constantly exposed to the sun. We never put sunscreen on them. And because we use our hands for so many different activities, they usually develop wrinkles the quickest. So pro tip, just use your face skincare on your hands. That way you can prevent as much aging and damage in them as much as possible. And then always apply sunscreen to your hands as well. I do it every day. That's a lie, I don't do it every day. I pretty much forget to do it like half the time, but I try and that's good enough for me. All right, now we're gonna attempt to peel off our masks. Ooh, yeah. It's like new skin. Oh my God, it's peeling. Oh, this is a horror movie. Ah. Oh my God. Oh my God, that looks so rough on his skin. Okay, that's another thing I should say about peel off masks. Sometimes they can be a little bit too harsh on the skin and he applied it so close to his under eye area. So when he was peeling it off, it can be so easy to trigger sensitivity around the eye area. I just, eesh. being that peel off face masks are just completely unnecessary. I did not enjoy seeing that. It's okay, Hiram, push through. Why is it making me cry? It's so beautiful. It's making him cry, oh my God. <laughs> I feel like that's enough evidence to show that that's a little bit overly sensitizing to your skin. Your skincare routine should not make you cry. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell? I bet it's like one goes in your mouth, one goes on your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 
right? Jesus. Oh, maybe it's, no, that, why would it go down my throat? <laughs> I don't want to smooth out my Adam's apple. <laughs> I need it. Koreans have a particular obsession with making their jaws slimmer. I've never personally tried one of those face rollers, although I have seen them, they are popular. I would say, you know, face rollers is definitely a nice part of the skincare routine. It can help to de-puff certain areas of your face. As far as making your jawline more defined, debatable with a face roller like that, if you are gonna use one, I recommend like a jade roller. Those ones are so nice to use and they're naturally cooling to the skin. They help to de-puff areas of your face. I personally have one and I love it. Is it like a product set from skincare heaven that will transform your skin? No, but it's a nice step. It's called escargot. That's fun, because that's snails. Yeah. And then read the next one. Botanic Garden Bee Venom Mist with snail and lavender extract. Skin revitalizing treatment mist. This sounds incredibly interesting. Bee venom? They aren't even snakes. So no, I, I didn't even think they were venomous. I thought they just had stingers. You can just say poison, right? So if you guys have never tried a Korean skincare product with snail mucin, I highly recommend it. Snail mucin is like amazing for the skin. It can really plump it up. It's largely considered to be anti-aging. I've noticed it being really good for soothing sensitivity, redness, and just plumping and hydrating the skin. But in addition to that, bee venom is also a really popular ingredient in skincare products. I would recommend instead of this product because it has lavender extract, and I consider lavender extract to be a fragrant component and just unnecessary in skincare. I would say going in with the Benton Snail Bee Venom Serum. It is amazing, such good results on the skin and is really popular. And as opposed to a mist where you're wasting a lot of the product in the air because it's not all being applied to your skin, the serum will last a lot longer and doesn't have fragrance. It's just a better alternative in my opinion. I'll have it linked in the description box below along with any of the other products that I recommend in this video. I'll mist my face. Ah! Oh, I missed. Just kidding, no, I got it. This thing's like, Ugh, my body hurts. My little pet eye patch. Be my best friend, heart from, from hamster. hamster. This is for putting under your eyes and it makes your eyes better. It's very cooling. Yeah, this is cool. Remember when the plastic surgeon said I had big bullfrog eyes? I've been thinking about that ever since. He wouldn't even draw a dick on my face. We want to be beautiful too. It's not just fun and jokes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like you. So I'm not going to deny, eye patches can be really, really nice. They're super luxurious experience and they do have that cooling sensation. But let me be honest, guys, if you just had like a jade roller, put it in the fridge and then in the morning took it out and put it on your under eye area, it's going to do the same thing that these eye patches are doing. It's going to have a cooling sensation. It'll reduce the puffiness. It'll feel really nice and you don't have to go in with a separate product, especially these eye patches from Tony Molly. They are like single use and in plastic packaging as opposed to like a pack of 60 in a jar. So price wise, they're probably pretty expensive and the waste that's created is also pretty excessive as well. So if you are gonna go in with an eye patch, actually Benton also has a snail bee eye patch that you can use as well. I tried those once before. I recommend them instead of these ones because you're gonna be getting a lot more. If you wanna save some money, just get a jade roller, put it in the fridge, you'll get the same effect. You're supposed to leave these eye patches on for about 30 minutes. So while we let them Wow, rest, that's a long time. Some neck exercises? We've discussed oh, in many wow. food babies videos <laughs> that I have the fattest throat and I need to slim this motherfucker down. What the hell? Did you break it all? Are these considered skincare? I don't even know. Wellness, I'll consider them. I personally never tried it, although mama, have you seen this neck? I could use it. Although I would be curious to ask someone who does have an expertise in facial structure and muscle and see if these are actually effective. Me and my skincare knowledge, I couldn't tell you. Eye patches removed? Is this the bee venom? I can't remember. No, that was the spray. You know, the eyes are the windows to the soul, and this soul is tired. It looks like I got 12 hours of sleep. It does look better? I think I it know. does look better. What do you think, audience? <laughs> Let's throw away these hamsters. Oh, it's a little panda! What do pandas dream about? I don't know. You put it on your under eyes. This portable stick type eye serum instantly moisturizes, cools, and soothes tired and puffy eyes. Oh my god, dope! Whoa, that is goopy. Am I so I'm noticing that they're going in with very cutesy, trendy, also very popular in the Western market type of Korean skincare, which is funny because these type of products were initially what completely turned me off to Korean skincare. When people would talk about Korean skincare, 
this is the type of shit I would think about. And I'm like, uh, no, I'm good. This stuff kind of looks a little bit more amateur. And while it is cute, I want serious solutions for my skin. It actually took me a while to realize that the world of Korean skincare is actually much more advanced, in my opinion, than the Western world when it comes to skincare. And the skincare products and lines and brands and products that are available are just so incredible. And it's kind of unfortunate in this video that they don't show off like the real potential that a lot of Korean skincare has. They're really just showing the fun, cutesy stuff, which I get it. It's comedy, they're doing it for fun. But if you are watching this, let me say to you, Korean skincare is incredible and there are so many amazing products out there. If you want to learn more about some of my favorites, watch literally any of my videos, but specifically my brand review of Purito or iUnique. Those products are uh, it just incredible, so good, and definitely not in the same category as these ones. <laughs> Whitening and anti-wrinkle snail cream. I don't think we have to get more white. Zach, where'd you go? <laughs> You're so much wider. I'm so white. They're very wrinkly. Snails. They're just sluggy, wrinkly little goob monsters. <laughs> I remember thinking the exact same thing when I saw the first whitening product from Korea and I was like, bitch, I grew up on a cattle ranch in the middle of Arizona. I'm already as white as fuck. I do not need any more whiteness. I also remember first seeing the term whitening on skincare products in Korea and being so offended, but in reality, whitening is kind of synonymous with brightening, the term that's used here in the US, you know, to brighten the skin, get rid of dark spots. But I will say, calling brands out, some brands really need to work on their racist advertising. I said it, I said it. Which is why I think the term brightening is much better than the term whitening. <laughs> Did we grind up the snail? Did we take its slime? Are you talking about snail cum? <laughs> Eugene, disgusting. He's making a snail cum joke. That's gross. But if is that what it is though? Snail <laughs> me, baby. Oh yeah. It's my skin oh, taking the light. He's going in with more. so like, much. Like you do brighter, not right? need do, that much moisturizer. Do, do, Holy do, shit. Do, do, do. <laughs> a good amount of moisturizer is like mm, two p amounts. Dewy, dewy, fresh. It's time for the I'm lovely peach foot mask. Get ready, foot fetish community. You're gonna see some. I have no more to say about foot masks than I do hand masks. Potato, potato. Chemo. <laughs> <laughs> Foot bag trick shots, one. Oh, this is nice. Rub your rub your two Oof. big toes together. Don't make it really gross? Yeah, get in there. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Feet kind of, they don't freak me out, but I'm just not a feet person. I really do think feet are kind of like one of the grossest parts of the bodies. I don't know, it just, ugh, this kind of makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna skip ahead. <laughs> Tony Moly changing you magic foot peeling shoes. Steps that can transform another an foot peeling woman mask to an attractive lady. Oh yeah, now my foot looks like a Dexter oh, victim. I know what these are. Oh my god. Falling off from your feet. Cut back to oh the my gosh, gold yep. peeling off my face. That's what's gonna happen to your feet, but your skin. Get these the f off of me. I don't want the that. Uh, I'm not ready feet. for that. Okay, you know what? Those foot peeling masks freak me out. And here's the reason why I think they're so stupid. You know, people use those masks and then you can see like the results of like all the dead skin on their foot peeling off. But my mindset is the dead skin on your feet is there for a reason. It's calluses. It's meant to protect your skin from developing blisters and rubbing and any discomfort. So why? Would you take that shit off? You're gonna be re-going through the process of getting blisters again. And I'm like, why would you wanna put yourself through that? Stop being dramatic, I'm just move on. Whew, well, an hour later, that was so much fun. Honestly, I really enjoyed watching that. Obviously, I was not watching this video thinking that the Try Guys would be the missionaries of the new, most innovative, powerful skincare solutions and that I would be enlightened by this video. Obviously not. I knew they were gonna be cherry picking the weirdest, most fun and creative types of products from Korea. But overall, I think this was a fun video. They were definitely going in with things that were, you know, the weirdest and the most extreme. That being said, I kind of am interested in trying a few of the products, particularly that brand brightening face cream and seeing if it has ingredients that I like because I am definitely a fan of snail mucin in my products. All of this being said, if you are someone who's looking to try Korean skincare, please do a little bit more research. There are so many amazing products that they didn't mention in this video and I kind of wish they would have gotten with one or two, you know, 
pretty good Korean skincare products. We watch the Try Guys because they're entertaining, not because they're skincare experts. But yeah, um, final thoughts. Please do not feel that you need to go in with that many steps in a skincare routine. You can easily just go in with four steps. If you wanna learn more about that, just watch my Skincare 101 series. I'll have it linked in the description box below. I go over all the most basic steps that you need in order to perfect your skincare routine. And of course, I'm really grateful that the Try Guys are doing stuff like this to kind of show that it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your sexuality is, what your gender is. Skincare is for everyone and it's a lot of fun. And overall, a skincare experience should be really enjoyable and something that's, you know, a lot of fun to do. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to hear your thoughts, your opinions. Did you enjoy this as much as I did? Thank you guys again for tagging me in this and be sure to follow me on Instagram to tag me in any future posts that you see and want me to react to. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, Selfless. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.